Oh, EA Sports, this is what I'm talking about. Radioactive Dynamo, Radioactive Precision Evos are here. And these, they have some serious potential. We're turning silvers to 90 rated cards. And I can't see the stats because uh, it's EA Sports. It looks like a few 90s on this card. I think I see 92, 91, 94. Why do they make the text green? Either way, we're going to cover both of them in this video. One video for the Dynamo and Precision all combined. Let me know down below the players you're going to use for this. I'm going to show you the best ones in a minute. Before then, by the way, I'm like 60 subscribers away. 60 subs away from 20,000. That is ridiculous. If you do enjoy this content, please smash the button down below. I'd very much appreciate it. Now, in my club... We've got a whopping zero players. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Just kidding. Just kidding. There's a fair few, and a lot... Well, let's go, go, one second. I see Jal Pedro. Hold up. Requirements. 74 overall. Max pace 80. Max more. Min shooting 64. Max 78 dribbling. Max 79 physical. Must not be a center mid. Interesting, maybe because there's that Evo as well. Either way, the boosts look absolutely insane. We get first touch plus and technical plus and five star skills. This could be the best Evo. It's not the maybe not the best Evo, but considering the boost, one of the best Evos. By the way, her eyes are terrifying. She's nah, staring into my soul. Anyway, focus, Jao Pedro. What are we saying? 92 dribbling. 89 pace, 86 shooting. Good agility, of course. Technical first touch, but rapid's the only other play style. Five star, four star. A lot of people loved his UCL card or the Europa League road to the knockout, was it? Big fan. I used it myself a few times. He's fantastic. So that could be a fan favorite for sure. In the club, I saw Sergio Gomez. You won't really look at. Fabio Silva. He's at Rangers now, but not a bad looking card here. 90 dribbling, lacking in the balance. But still, the playstyles are lovely. In all honesty, in regards to my club here, not a lot kicking about. Evan Ferguson, I think he's got a SBC today. I'll review that after this video. So if you want to stick around for that one, check the channel in a little bit. Alessandrini, up to an 87. Five star, four star. Looks pretty crazy, to be fair. Mad agility and balance. I've actually got a version of this guy with like every scoring playstyle. But this one is technical and first touch, which makes him a big fan favorite for sure. Um, by the way, games-wise... Doesn't look too bad whatsoever. Like, look at the game's total. Like, it should be pretty quick to get done. Let's have a quick look at the club for this, by the way. Radio to precision. What do we get? Intercept and incisive pass. The boost also looks pretty damn insane. Like, we get, uh, what, plus five weak foot on this one as well. That's something to consider. Anyway, in the club, I do actually have Duncan. Okay, cool. Uh, the card stats, because we can't see because the card design, looks pretty solid. And one thing I didn't mention, by the shot power, 99, long shots, 99. Two play styles, not ideal. And one thing I didn't mention, in case you forgot, radioactive chemistry is a thing. So these guys would be on, what, full chem, I believe? Pretty certain that's how it works. Temeze. Not a bad looking card here. Like, I remember doing this man's Evo for his team of the week, and he's almost like Renato Sanchez. Like, the mini version. The dribbling looks mental. Same with the defending. Great pace. Really well round balanced card. But the play styles are lacking. That's one thing we might notice with these silvers. But in regards to the RTG, we're looking a little bit worse for wear. Let's load up foot.gg and have a little gander to see what we are working with in regards to the best possible players for these Evos. Of course. Oh, I see Zier Emery. Okay. There's going to be a lot of options. A lot of options. We'll start off with Precision, which is the uh, midfielder one. Hide combinations for now. And this man is screaming out immediately. Warren Zier Emery. The issue is, like, 90 rated, yes. But it does not look like a 90 rated card whatsoever. Like, nowhere near. Three star, five stars, good. Medium, medium. I like it. But similar with the Golden Glow Up that came up recently. Like, a lot of the cards that were eligible went to high overalls. It was, like, high 80s. But nothing like they should be that overall. Forsby had a crazy card. I think it was last year. If you remember what I'm on about, let me know down below. It might have been like an objective card. He was mad. Sambi Laconga in here as well. Nothing crazy. Uh, any absolute standout beasts. Looking like a lot of like lack, well, severe lack of pace. This Norwich stat looks decent. One thing as well, by the way, this is free. This is a free Evo, so I'm not going to be too critical. Uh, and what I will say, obviously, if you've got players for the club that you support in the real world, 
by all means, get stuck in and do them. Uh, Nico Melamad, 4-star, 5-star. Not a bad-looking card. Crazy dribbling stats with technical, incisive pass, and intercept. Obviously, intercept with no defending stats, though. Something to consider. Obviously, you, you kind of need defending stats, let's be real. <laughs> Definitely need defending stats. Carrera in here looking decent. Links obviously aren't an issue with these, so could be a shout. Hold up. Irvine has a phenomenal mustache and a phenomenal looking card. Jackson Irvine could be one of the best options here, I reckon. Just, just a first glance. Just the first glance. A lot of 82s and 83s. 91 physical in there. Decent play styles as well. Agility and balance is low, but the stash alone kind of makes me think it might be worth doing. I'm going to leave the tab open for that one. Now, by the way, with silvers, a lot of these will go extinct very quickly. So if there's a player that you want to get done, make sure you're searching them on the market ASAP, trying to pick them up, or hopefully you have them in the club. He's got decent interceptions, so intercept might be good here. But a severe lack of play styles. Fabio Carvalho, of course, has transferred to Hull. But a yeah, 3-star, 5-star... It's a weird one, man. Like, intercept doesn't fit this card. You're kind of looking for a box-to-box -box center mid. That's where you're truly going to get the most out of it, in my opinion. Uh, I will look at footbin as well after this to see if there's any absolutely insane cards that I do miss. Ferguson's almost hullet gang minus the defending. Looks decent, in all fairness, a box-to-box. -box. Good pace, shooting, physicals. Not a bad shout. Daniel Braganka in here with 93 dribbling. Pretty decent while around the card. He's got some pace about him. Lacking a little bit in the shooting department though, unfortunately. Nagbe, 92 dribbling, 85 physical. Okay. Okay. Yeah, MLS boys out there. Decent looking card. There's a lot of cards that look so similar, by the way. Like high pace. Okay, I was literally, could you not? You, this may sound like I'm waffling, but I was literally just thinking about this man. Because I've got his team of the week on my main account where he's doing this like celebration. And I'm waiting for an Evo. But this could be it. Like, that is a stat-looking card. Defending should be in the 80s, surely, for Hullet Gang. But physicals are there. Free stuff, five star, high, high. This one massive outlier is rubbish play style. Like, he's got nothing apart from the two play style pluses. It's not ideal. But dribbling looks fantastic. Pace is good. He's a bit of a bruiser. I think Zwayback did a, uh, an Evo for him at some point. Uh, and it was fantastic, or at least he enjoyed it. Uh, and Zway likes doing the niche cards. I respect it. So that could be one to consider. I might have skipped a little bit too easy there because this lad looked decent down here. Uh, mid, mid show, almost hurt gang again, just the shooting, letting him down. He's medium high work rates. Nagano in here, decent dribbling stats. Uh, some nice looking cards, man, at first glance. So Kowski popping up again, hold up. Oh, he's changed leagues, hasn't he? He's in the Serie B now, I believe. That's disappointing. I forgot he has indeed swapped clubs. Timber, so his base cards are silver then, I guess. Not a bad looking shout here. Geoffy has a team of the week that's crazy. You know what? Let's hang fire on these for now. And let's go check out the uh, the Dynamo one. The Attacker one here. I'm pretty certain Jao Pedro is going to be one of the most popular. Uh, I'm looking at Neil Mope there, by the way. 91 shooting. Everton fans, why not? Okay, this is the man that I reckon is going to fly. He's only 5'3". Not ideal. But 92 pace, 91 shooting, 94 dribbling. Once again, no play styles, which is obviously an issue the dribbling looks amazing the agility and balance there shooting looks great he's in the Eredivisie now he was originally Lee Gunn was he not I swear he was he's definitely gonna be one of the best shouts though for this attacker one just the first glance here Skov looking fantastic as well looking at this first page it's looking a little bit better than the midfielder Evo because I'm seeing some high dribbling Philip five star four star technical and first touch is a lovely combo is that what George best team of the icon has I think it might be, right? Bundesliga, decent shout. Could play as a cam. Physical's a bit low, but should be fine. Same with Okagawa here. Great pace and dribbling combo. Dreyer looking stacked. Volt, Volt Schmidt, Not quite with the pace there. Lacking a little bit, my son. Uh, this is looking like the one. Hold up. 90, 90, 90, 92 over here. What are we saying? Cerner, 90 pace, 90 shoot, 92 dribbling. 5 star, 3 star. Not ideal, but... It's a, it's a unique card. He's got a few play styles, but seven like composure definitely lets her down for sure. We'll be swiftly avoiding that one. Mancini in here, 92 pace, 92 dribbling. We're, I'm kind of keeping an eye out for cards that have like 90 plus pace, dribbling and shooting. Stoichkov in here, 92 shooting, 91 dribbling, doesn't look too shabby. Of course, there's one thing as well to say with these Evos. 
Just because they have good stats doesn't mean they're going to play up to the stats. That is important. So if you are debating doing one of these cards, make sure to pick up the silver. Try it out in game. See the body type. See if you get on with the card just as the silver version before you commit to the evolution. I've had a lot of people over the, the game span saying they've completed these crazy evos that just aren't good in game whatsoever. On paper, they look mental, but in game, they just do not live up to the hype, which is unfortunate, you know, because you put a lot of time into these, man. So there's the Ligon version. So I'm assuming the transfer has happened. Huang, 89 pace, 90 shooting, 91 dribbling on this man. Um, he plays in the Premier League, does he? Does he play in the Prem? I think, uh, I think he's transferred. I don't know why, but I swear he's transferred. Uh, but 5-4, not bad looking stats there as well. Could be a decent option for sure. Uh, Massa push, not bad. Uh, any other absolute world beaters. Ben Teke in the building. Fabio Silva we touched on earlier. Didn't look too shabby, but not a crazy card. Ueda in there. Caramo, oh my God, this man's... um. FC Pro was taking over the game at one point. I remember that. That man with a ridiculously sick name and insane dribbling as well. 94 dribbling and Dompey. Is that Bundesliga 2 now, isn't it, for Hamburg? 5-star, 3-star. There's got to be a card out there that I was not going to find just by searching for .gg that is 5-5 five, five and absolutely ridiculous. Archer looking pretty decent. Obviously, he has not had a special card this year, so if you're a Sheffield United fan, uh, you want to get that card done, definitely would be doing that because he looks like he's very usable. Xerxes probably going to be avoiding because of the, uh, the foot birthday. Leonardo, Vasquez. I mean, there's some decent looking options in here. Gineppo, 94 dribbling. But I, I don't want to be a party pooper. Like, it looks fun. It's a fun Evo. And I think, yes, this is where we should be going. I still like the fact that we're boosting silvers. A lot of people might disagree where they want to boost their cars they've already Evoed. Yes, I'm all for that. But, you know, to boost silvers is fun i like it because i loved silver stars last year but still maybe a little more juice what we saying the power curve is progressing so much can we have a little sprinkle can we have a little bit more juice on top of what you're offering already which is already amazing let's not get twisted i'm a fan of what we are putting down ea but a little bit more would be fantastic so if we head over to footbin we can see the trending players so hold up i clicked a link i clicked a link uh, advert, I mean. Uh, since, by the way, Footbin has been sold, I believe. And since then, oh my days, the amount of ads are spamming me. Zier Emery is obviously going to be high up there. Same with Jao Pedro, we predicted that. Nani, is Nani eligible for this Evo? He is. Eight, no, okay, that's his radioactive. Calm down, Hayden, calm down. Let me click on this. Evos. Then I'm assuming 90 rated here. I mean, he doesn't look too shabby. But at the same time, I don't know about it. Okay, never mind. He's not even there. He's just trending for whatever reason. Uh, Alessandrini again. Ross Barkley. Is he a decent shout? i tell you what. We'll head over to here. And we'll load up foot.gg. I just prefer the Evos on foot.gg. Ross Barkley is eligible. I mean, but the... I mean, probably going to be an avoid for me. He's going to get a card. He will get a card. Trust me. A promo card will come in for Ross Barkley. I almost, almost guarantee it. Verdi in here as well. Have a little look at you, my son. Uh, is this the man who had a crazy card last year? He looks so there you go, 5'5. Five, five. He looks super well rounded. Medium low is not great, but that acceleration, he is gonna fly with 99 agility, 99 balance. That is a crazy card. Siri B again, no, but of course, chemistry is not really an issue with these radioactive cards. I like that one. He might be one of the most like meta looking cards that we've seen so far. Carvalho we touched on, but he has actually transferred, I believe. You might still be able to get the Leipzig version, but I doubt it. Christy from Bournemouth. Uh, this is a little bit longer, by the way. I've, I've rambled a little bit more than usual in this uh, Evo chat here, guys. But I hope you do enjoy, as always. Uh, Ryan Christy looks solid. He honestly does. Five-star, four-star, high, high. You can almost play him as like a box-to-box -box right mid almost. Because defending isn't bad. One of the better ones. But in my opinion, like the standouts have to be like your Jao Pedros. Uh, this man here, Georges Mikhail Dadzi. He looks fantastic on paper. One of the best on paper for sure. And of course, yeah, Emery in my opinion. Let me know what you think down below there, guys. Evan Ferguson review later today. I'll check the card out after this one. Smash a like on the video if you enjoyed. Let me know who you're doing. I'll catch you guys later.